There's nothing wrong with a healthy fear of severe weather. It's when you let that fear control you that it becomes a problem. Meteorologist Kelly Cass has a look at some of the more bizarre weather phobias and what you can do to best handle them. Weather can be scary. I thought that we were all going to die. For some, it's so terrifying it can be overwhelming, even incapacitating. Some people may laugh at phobias that people have and think they're funny. It's anything but funny to those people experiencing. Between 5 to 8 percent of the population suffers from phobias. Many are weather related. The key to a weather phobia is often their location specific. People who, who live in Florida or even maybe be traveling to Florida may more, have more of a fear of hurricanes than somebody who lives in Alaska where they might have a fear of snow. Weather phobias don't discriminate. Take, for example, the Weather Channel's senior meteorologist Stu Ostro, who suffered from bronophobia, the fear of lightning or thunder. What separated it from a normal fear was that it just became overwhelming and irrational. There are different phobias for every type of weather. Things like ombrophobia, the fear of rain, thermophobia and cryophobia, the fears of heat and cold, and chymophobia, the fear of waves. Rain, sun, and surf may not scare you, but to someone with a phobia, that phobia can shut them down from the inside out. They may have shortness of breath, sweating, they may feel teary and very emotional. It's very overwhelming. I basically just outgrew it. Since then, I have been able to find a balance between not being too fearful, but giving lightning, which is dangerous, the right amount of healthy respect. Doctors can help in other ways through relaxation, meditation, and medication. Hypnosis and direct exposure can also work. One way you can help someone with a phobia, be supportive. Sometimes when a person knows they're not alone, facing their fears doesn't seem as difficult. I'm meteorologist Kelly Cass, The Weather Channel.